In today's video, I want to discuss with you the NHL Offside Challenge Rule. Should the rule be taken out? Should it be changed? I want to gather your thoughts and I'll give you mine. And that's coming up next. Welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel and you like unbiased hockey talk on all 31 NHL teams, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's jump into this NHL offside challenge rule. It's been something that's created some controversy. It's been around the league for three seasons now, and I think it's time. I know the NHL has tried to tweak the rule a few times as well, and there's been a lot of debate on whether or not they should get rid of it, take it out, what should be done, this seems to be causing as much controversy and frustration as it is uh, happiness for things being turned over. So try to look at things here from an unbiased perspective like I do. Try to look at this with an open mind. Obviously, you may have different feelings on this rule depending on how it's impacted your team recently. I mean, if you've seen your team lose goals over it, you might be jaded and hate the rule. And if you've seen your team uh, you know, keep uh, get some goals erased off of the op opposing teams, you might really love it. But at some point in time, this rule is going to impact pretty well every team in a positive or a negative way, I think. So let's look at this just unbiasedly and just look at the rule as a whole. Now, the most recent uh, situation that happened that caused controversy uh, was with the Edmonton Oilers. They appeared to have a tying goal late in the game, and then after the goal went in, the play was challenged by the opposing team and it was determined that their forward was crossing the blue line that his skate blade was off the ice therefore considered offside and the goal was nullified this happens i think it was approximately 40 45 seconds after they crossed the ice is when the puck went in you know from the oilers perspective that really stings now we did hear comments after the game from star forward connor mcdavid and he said he thinks the league should look at taking it out. He didn't feel like, you know, a play that happened so long after entering the zone in such a marginal, minimal thing um, should be considered offside. And really, like, if they're trying to push offense here, something like that's impeding it. And he thought they should take the rule out. And he hopes that the league looks at doing so. So that got me thinking about it, looking at some footage, trying to figure out how I felt about it. Because I've seen games where it's gone both ways you know where you you hope that it overturns so your team wins and you've seen it so that uh, at the same time so that it doesn't get overturned so your team scores so i've seen it happen enough and it seems to go you know i don't think any team can say that they've had it go drastically one way or the other over the last few years here but the one part of the rule that really that i don't like is and i'm going to put up a picture here on the screen so you can take a look at it that picture shows the Oilers forwards skate being off the ice and now that's offside. So maybe they, a solution might be not to take the rule out, but maybe if they tweak what they call offside in the first place, that some of these controversial challenges might not be happening. If you take a look, I, I just like the fact that, you know, yes, the first leading foot is uh, either on or over the blue line, but that because of that back blade is off the ice, it's considered offside. That to me is... I don't like it at all. I mean, I think adjusting what they call offside is, is the, the solution here. You know, they, they could tweak what they call offside and maybe that'll be a solution. But at the end of the day here, since the rule first came in, obviously they've had to tweak things. You know, we saw coaches abusing the offside challenge. It was being done like two years ago, even last year, it was challenged crazily because they knew that, if, that uh, at the end of the day here, that, that the worst case scenario that they would lose their timeout. Well, they're basically getting a timeout anyways from challenging the play. And what's the worst that can happen? Well, maybe the goal actually gets overturned. If it looks close enough, what the heck? Let's challenge it. Maybe we get lucky and the goal gets overturned. And then we get our timeout regardless. Our players get a rest. Coach can talk to their players while the review is going on. Either way, so it was kind of like a loophole that coaches were using. The, the uh, It was getting abused, so they made the change and now, if you challenge an offside and you're wrong, well, it's a penalty. Well, that part is different, and you notice that the amount of challenges are down drastically. However, it does still happen, and it can be controversial. So, 
coaches aren't abusing it anymore, but it seems like you solve one problem, you kind of create another. So I want to know, what do you guys think of this rule? Do you think the skate being off the ice should be considered offside? Should they take the rule out? Should they amend what offside is? What is the best solution here? Because I think the NHL wants to push more offense. Offense equals entertainment, in my opinion. They need to look at something. There's been a lot of controversy. And we can hopefully eliminate that from the game. So what do you think is the best solution here? Personally, I think they could leave the rule in place because there's bound to be a scenario at some point where it's blatant and it didn't get picked up by the referees. That's how all this came into play in the first place. We had a blatant offside, like by a lot. It didn't, it got missed. And you know, obviously there was an outrage over that. So they brought in this rule to make sure something like that never happened again. And now we have a whole other set of issues that have come with it. They've tried tweaking it. It could be tweaked again. I. I don't know, personally, I think they should leave it in just because we don't want to have happen what brought it in in the first place. But if they adjust what offside is in the first place, that could eliminate some of these crazy calls from being overturned. And you're gonna see less challenges, less controversy, whatnot, and go from there. So if they take away the skate off the, off the ice being considered offside, so what do you think? What is the best solution here? Do you like the rule? Do you think the rule should be taken out? or should it be adjusted? Regardless of your thoughts, I wanna hear them down in the comment section down below. We have friendly, unbiased conversations here in the comment sections all the time. So please do not be afraid to share your thoughts. And don't forget as well to make sure you follow us on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You're gonna see our Twitter uh, handle right here on the screen. So check that out. All the links for social media, including Facebook and Instagram are in the description below. So you can click on those links, check out those accounts, we do share other material other than our videos on those platforms. So we'd like to have more hockey conversations with you. And that's a great, easy way to do it. So check out those. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. We'll be catching you next time.